Hey guys, James Upjohn here from MagicSubmitterTutorials.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how to manually create accounts, how to create accounts for all service types, what categories are and how to set them, and how to create a submit item and why it would be important to do manual submissions. I'm going to start by saying, if you're watching this video, that the quickest and easiest way to get going with Magic Submitter is to go through the campaign wizard and if you haven't watched the campaign wizard video i highly recommend that you do that with the introduction of the campaign wizard it does make some of these steps like manually creating accounts and creating individual submit items it does mean that if you're just looking to get through magic submitter quite quickly that that's the best place to start however there are times when using Magic Submitter that you may not want to go through and do an entire campaign. And just as an example of that, you may have just uploaded a new YouTube video or you may have just created your new website and rather than creating a whole campaign to it, you may decide that you just want to write an article and just send out a few article links or you may decide that you just want to send out a few bookmarks to it. Now, if you want to do that, it's a good idea to know how to do that. So I'm going to show that to you now. Up in the ribbon, we can see an icon here that says Create Accounts. And this Create Accounts button, what that will do for us is this will create accounts for anything that we've got checked within the submission matrix below. I'm just going to go through and select a handful of them. In fact, rather than manually selecting like that, what I'm going to do is select these here. Then I'm going to right click and then I'm going to choose selected services. So by clicking create accounts now, what Magic Submitter is going to do is it's going to try and sign up to as many services as I've got selected. And just as a point of reference so that you can quickly and easily tell how many you've selected, if I right click, we can scroll down and you'll see that it's 22 selected services. So now that I've got these 22 services selected, I'm going to click on create accounts and Magic Submitter is going to bring up this task schedule button right here and it's telling me how many services there are in the queue. Currently there's seven services left in the queue and it's telling me at the top here that it's running in sockets mode and it's asking me to wait and telling me that there's 18 seconds or 20 seconds now have gone by. So I'm just going to wait patiently for this to finish. It should only take a few seconds. And when this has finished, what's going to happen is Magic Submitter is going to ask me to verify the emails. So just to let you know what's actually happening here with the creation of the accounts, Magic Submitter is going out to each one of these sites right now. It's loading the page. It's looking for the registration form. And it's actually taking the information straight from the profiles that we've created, like the name, the address, the telephone number, the email addresses. And it's using that information to create a new registration profile on that website. So Magic Submitter is almost finished now. The good news is we can see at the bottom here that Magic Submitter is saying created, created, created. So it looks like we've got some nice success. And we can also see from these green check marks that Magic Submitter had a very good run at creating those accounts. And actually, if we click this and check, 20 out of the 22 sites that we selected successfully created accounts. Now, you're never going to get 100% success. Okay, it's nothing to be alarmed about when creating accounts with Magic Submitter. Every once in a while, you are going to see red check marks instead of green checks, and you'll see errors. There could be a few different reasons for that. But the most common reason is that that website may be offline. If you do see any red X's while creating accounts, one of the things that you can do is once the account creation is finished, you can right click again. You see here we've got error services one. What I can do here is I can unselect everything. I can right click again and I can click select in error state. Now, if I right click, you'll see that Magic Submitter selected one service because there was only one in error. And what I could do if I wanted to is just create the account again. Maybe that website was just offline for a couple of seconds. It may be that my internet connection dropped. There could be a number of reasons. And typically what I tend to find is once you've created the accounts, 
if you select everything in error and you try manually creating them again, you do usually get a couple more successful creations. So it's definitely worth doing that. Now we've got this pop-up box that has just come up saying magic submitter finished account creating process. Would I like to run activation email confirmations now? If I click yes on this, Magic Submitter is going to log into the email address that was used in the profile and it's going to check to see how many of these sites that we've just created accounts at have sent us an email asking us to verify our email address. For best results, it is better to wait 20 minutes and then Magic Submitter will run the activation email confirmation automatically. So because some websites don't automatically send that confirmation email out, sometimes there's a delay of 10 or 20 minutes, it is better to click no and Magic Submitter will then automatically log in and do that. However, for this demonstration, I'm going to say yes. If I click yes on this, Magic Submitter is now going to log into the mailbox. So we can see that it's connecting. It says connected and it's reading emails. And these are all of the emails that are currently in that inbox. As you can see, there's quite a few. And what Magic Submitter just did then was it activated those emails. And now it's just deleting those emails from that account. So if I had clicked no and I decided that I wanted to manually read emails in the future, um, bearing in mind that Magic Submitter will do it automatically, but if I decided at any time that I just wanted to read the emails, there is a button at the top here that says read emails. It is very important whenever you create an account to make sure that the emails have been read because if you try submitting and the emails haven't been confirmed, you're just going to get a lot of errors. I should have waited 20 minutes. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep going. So we might see a few errors here. But what I'm going to do now that I've created these accounts is I want to submit some content to them. So for Magic Submitter, you'll notice where I've just put my mouse. There's a pop-up that's just come up. It, it's usually a green play button, but in this case, it's grayed out. And it says submit to selected services. And... I want to submit some stuff, but it won't let me do it at the moment. And the reason for that is I've not given it any submission content yet. And what you'll also notice is for all of these different services, there aren't any categories set yet. We've got one down here as autos and trucks, but everything else is missing. There is a way to set categories that I'll show you in a minute, but you'll notice that these two are grayed out currently. And the reason for that, again, is because we've not given Magic Submitter any submission content. So I'm going to right click and unselect all, and then I'm going to give Magic Submitter some content that I want it to post to these article directories. So first of all, I'm going to click on manage items, and we can see here that the service type is already set to article directories, and the project is already set to technology. That's brilliant. So I'm going to now click on create submit item, and this is where I can put all of the information into these boxes that Magic Submitter is going to submit out for me. So I'm going to do articles for this demonstration and I'm going to first of all select the article title. So I've got an article saved in Magic Article Rewriter. So I'm just going to take the title of my article, copy that and paste that into article title. I'm going to take the first paragraph of my article and I'm going to put it into article summary. Next is the article body. So the article body, I'm going to take the full article from the first paragraph all the way down to the last. So I'm now just going to go and grab the resources box. The resources box is my call to action. So I'm just going to scroll down here and grab this. This is what contains my link. Now my resources box has got two links in it. First of all, it's got a random link, which I discussed in the campaign wizard video. And it's also got a campaign link in it. Now, I need to take the campaign link out for this manage item. I use this article for a campaign, but it's really important to know that when doing submit items, this type of link can't be used. This is specific for campaigns. So I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to put in here in its place a normal anchor text link. So I'm going to put in here for my link ahref equals I'll type out my money site URL 
and then I'm going to spin some anchor text to go with this. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to spin a couple of things. Samsung, Samsung Galaxy S2. What I could do as well, if I wanted to, is to just put in some generic anchor text. So just that. And now what Magic Submitter would do is it would take one of my keywords or a generic anchor text that it's got built into its database. This square bracket, gen anchor square bracket, Magic Submit has got its own built-in database of things like click here, find out more, visit us, more information, those types of words. And that really helps us to stay safe with Google if we're using generic anchor texts. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to put that in there like that. And I'm going to click OK. And it's interesting to note that had I left it as it was, in fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just put campaign link in here to demonstrate something to you in a submit item. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in article keywords. My article keywords I have in my file here. And my keywords are spun. Some of them are generic. Some of them the actual keywords I'm trying to rank for. I'm going to put these in here like this. Now, what's interesting is two things. First of all, in my resources box, I'm using the RAND link shortcode. So if I was to try and click preview, I'm going to get a pop-up saying, as your submit item consists of RAND link variable, please set RAND links list for your item to submit. So I'm going to choose my random links list. And now if I click preview, you're going to see that at the bottom of this article body with links, it's come up with this hash anchor hash or pound anchor pound. And basically that's because what I've just created now is not part of any campaign and that pound anchor pound or hash anchor hash, this is only used in a campaign. It's not used in an item to submit. So if I want to do a manual submission, I need to be sure that I'm not using this, I'm using the other one. So I've got my article resources box on my article body here. For my article body with links, what I need to put in this one is the full article, including my resource box. So not the title though, just first paragraph down to the bottom, including the resource box. And again, I just need to go into my resource box here and just update this link and for this one, I could put the same thing in as last time, or I might just pick something different. So for this one, actually, I'm just going to use generic anchor text and no keywords at all. Okay. So that's my anchor text link now. I'm going to click save on that. And now when I click preview, you're going to see that this article has got my two links in. That one's going to my website. This one's one of the random links from the random links manager. Just as a real quick overview, in case you missed the last video, the Random Links Manager is a great place to spin URLs using anchor text format where you can include any different type of site online, authority sites or other sites you own, spin some anchor text with it and click save. And then all you need to do in your campaign is just to click or just to insert the Rand link variable, which is the square bracket Rand link square bracket and Magic Submitter will automatically replace this with what we've got in the random links. Like I said, I do explain that in more detail in the Campaign Wizard video. So if you haven't seen it, I do recommend you check that one out for more information on the random links list. So I'm going to click Save on this now. And I've now created an item to submit. If I was now to right click and select all activated, Magic Submitter is going to highlight all of these that have got green check marks in. If I now try clicking Submit to Selected Services, I'm going to get an error that pops up telling me that I need to choose categories. So it says, please ensure that all selected categories shown in blue bold font have categories chosen. And basically what that means is each one of these websites here that are in blue bold font need a category because that article directory wants you to put your article into an appropriate category on their site. What's interesting to point out is some of the sites in Magic Submitter are black and some of them are blue. The ones that are in black don't need categories. The ones that are in blue, bold font do. You may also occasionally see a site that's in deep 
pink or purple in color. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about what they are on another video, but those ones don't require categories either. Okay, so I now need to set the categories for these sites. There's a couple of different ways that I can get categories for these. First of all, I can click on categories. I can click on the individual site and I could have a look here to see what categories are available. And I may say my article could for this one go into, let's just say for example, lifestyle. And if I was to click that, you'd see that Magic Submit has now set a category called lifestyle. If you've only got one or two sites you need to set categories for, it's not too bad to do it that way. However, with all of these 20 different ones I need to do, there is a much quicker and easier way to do that. I'm going to come up to the top here and click set categories. So there are a couple of different ways inside this categories list for that I can choose categories. First of all, I could choose my niche, let's say computers and technology for this case. And if I was to click this set categories button, Magic Submitter will go through each one of these sites and it will try and find as many categories as it possibly can. Now that I've clicked that, you'll see that Magic Submit has automatically filled most of these categories in for me. Okay, so Magic Submit has just put these in here. You'll notice that there's a couple of them that it was unable to set categories for. Now that I've created the submit item and I've got the categories set, I can right click and I can select all activated. And now it should let me submit to selected services. But I can see at the top here that there is one that doesn't have any categories set. I've done this deliberately so that I can show you when I try and submit, it's still going to tell me, please ensure all selected categories shown in blue bold font have categories chosen. What I'm going to do here for this, for demonstration purposes, is I'm going to come over here to unselect and I'm going to unselect all with no categories set. It may just be that you've clicked on a site and there isn't an appropriate category at all. The easiest and quickest way to do it once you feel that you've put everything in is just to unselect all with no categories set and then we can submit to selected services. Now, just before I do that, because we've been talking for a little while, I am going to read the emails one last time because hopefully a couple more confirmations have come through. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to submit to selected services. We're going to see here again that Magic Submitter is trying to submit to all of these different sites. It's telling us how many services are left in the queue. And already through looking at this, I'm starting to see that I am starting to get quite a few submissions. So in just a few seconds, it really hasn't taken that long at all. I've been able to sign up to 20 accounts, confirm the emails and been able to successfully post. I'm just going to wait for these last few to see what happens. What is a good idea to do as well with some of these and what I would definitely do myself is I, if I was going to do this, I would actually come back 24 hours later, click read emails again, and then just try and submit to those that errored out. We've successfully created the accounts. We might as well have another try at trying to submit. It may just be that that site's a little bit slower at sending that confirmation through. Again, don't get too worried about the ones that are in error though. It's just something that does happen with the software. And just remember that if there is a problem with a site, there are regular database updates available. And all of these sites that are in error are regularly updated. So hopefully the scripts will be fixed that you'll be able to post to them next time round. So don't worry about that too much. What's really impressive is that in just a few minutes, I was able to get 13 articles submitted out there I'm really happy with that. That's 13 lengths in just a few minutes. Imagine how much longer it would have taken me if I was to have had to go and do that manually. So that's how to do manage items and um, how to manually create accounts. You can do that for any of these different service types. The same process applies. First of all, you would right click, select all, create the accounts. Once you've created the accounts, wait the 15 minutes, read the emails, create the submit item by going to manage items. Now notice with some service types like this one, there aren't any categories shown in blue bold font. And that basically means that this service type doesn't require categories to be set. So once you've created your submit item and you've waited your time, you can just submit that selected item to the services and it will run through. The last thing to point out in regards to creating and submitting items is that 
let's say that you manually wanted to create the accounts for more than one service type let's say you wanted to create the accounts for all service types at once manually rather than having to go through here and go into article directories right click and select or create accounts and doing it for each one what you can do is you can click this button that says create accounts for all service types chosen so let's say for example I wanted to do some manual submissions for bookmarking status net micro blogs click bookmarks and let's say wikis what I can do is I can just select those and then once you've selected the service types what you can do is you can click run now when magic submitter will automatically start or if you're in the middle of doing something and you want to schedule it for later on what you can do is set the date and time and then click create scheduled tasks and magic submitter will go off and create those tasks for you and then it'll start creating the tasks at the date and time that you've specified so i hope that video has been helpful for you i really look forward to connecting to you on the next one thank you very much